welcome to Italy. We have a lot of catching up to do. I'm about to get my hair going as I chat with you guys. I'm actually in Florence right now, by the way. Last night I uh, tried this tanner. Turns out it's pretty impossible to find self tanner in Italy. Go figure, everyone's just naturally tanned and beautiful. My hands are a little orange, apparently didn't wash it off all the way and it's a bit orange and streaky. <laughs> it is what it is right now. But gotta do something with this hair. The humidity here is wild right now, been like 98 degrees. I actually flew into Milan. So I flew from Amman, Jordan to Milan, Italy. And I was there in Milan for four nights. I wasn't super functional. My body just wasn't feeling great. So I did like two main things the whole time. One, I went to the Duomo. I did the stairs going up, went inside. Everyone at the top was just like sitting in the shade, looked like they're about to pass out. I'm like, someone needs to be selling some water up in here on this cathedral rooftop, okay? And then the second thing I did was go on a date. <laughs> went on a date with this Italian guy. We went to this area in Milan, which if you're visiting Milan, you have to go there. There's like a canal and there's a bunch of restaurants on the water. It was just like very beautiful, cool area to walk around. And then yesterday I actually was supposed to go from Milan to Venice, literally the morning of. I could change my plans, canceled everything and came to Florence instead because I got sick and I also just haven't been feeling great. And I'm by myself, I'm doing solo travel and just like with my bags, my body stuff, everything, being sick. I just didn't want to go be like stranded in Venice because there's no cars there. I just, I know my body, it would be too much between like carrying the suitcases, walking by myself there as well, which is just part of traveling for me. Like I know that can happen, but I figured I would just come to Florence because I already had booked two weeks here. So now I have like two and a half weeks here, basically almost three weeks in Florence. But there are like day trips you can take. Like, you can actually go to Cinque Terre, Pisa. You can go different places from Florence. So I figure if I stay here longer, I can do like a day trip if I want to and just like really explore Florence and catch up on work, like that kind of thing. I planned trips last minute, but I don't think I've ever woken up and had to <laughs> figure out where I was sleeping that night and like rebook everything. That was the situation yesterday. I was literally on my phone at six in the morning, canceling Airbnbs, rebooking train tickets, booking a hotel for like that night. I actually totally scored on this place. I'm excited to show you guys looking because my <laughs> flat iron cord is just chilling in the bidet right now. Great. This place is a bed and breakfast right in the center of Florence. The nicest owners, such a cute spot. They have like free coffee, free pastries all day long. I actually scored though because I got this basically half off like for three nights because it was last minute and they had an opening what i've heard is like milan compared to the rest of italy is a little bit less impressive just because of like the architecture just the city overall and i liked being in milan but again it was like my first stop in italy it is just like you know it's like a city there definitely are things that are totally worth visiting i don't think you need four nights in milan you could probably do with like one or two nights and continue on with the italy vlog from here So down at the fact that in Italy, pasta is considered a starter. <laughs> Ravioli, so online. I'm here early, so it's not busy yet. Okay, this is where I'm staying for three nights in Florence and then I moved to a different Airbnb but literally booked this <laughs> like three hours ago on the train. They just had a last minute cancellation. It's like a bed and breakfast and look at this patio. Oh my god. I'm so happy. This is like perfect. And then here's this like lofted super tall ceiling. It's like right in the main area too. And then they have this big closet, full length mirror, cute little coffee station, birds out there right now. Oh my god, this is so lovely totally forgot about the bathroom but look how cool this is we have this arch doorway you just like feel like you're in an italian building i mean we are look at this So I just went to the south side of the river. It just feels, it's still touristy, but it feels 
I don't know, maybe today was just empty too, but there was much less people. I want to go back over there. I heard there's a bunch of good restaurants over there, and also that's where the gardens are and the PT Petit Palace, which I'm going to go to, I think, in a couple days. There's like a free, if you go on the first Sunday of every month, they actually give you free access to all the museums. So that's exciting. Save like 80 euro, 60 euro. So we're gonna attempt to do that. Downside of moving around every few days is all of the ironing. I do 50 times, I have my little iron set up there. On Instagram, I get asked who takes my photos. <laughs> this guy, if I'm in like, you know, not out, sometimes I'll bring it out, but usually I just ask someone. There's so many people, especially like in Italy, tourists that are already taking photos. So it's just like really easy to ask people for help to take your photo and then I'll take theirs. But like this, I'm gonna put on the bed right now and then try to get a shot of me like out on the patio. So I got the doors open and I got everything set up. Also I use the Lens Buddy app. It just takes a bunch of photos at the same, or at once. Just got this sandwich. This is like the famous sandwich place here. There's like 28,000 reviews. The line it looks super long, but I actually moved really fast, like 10 minutes. I don't know if I got the right one. I might have to go back and try another, but this has like honey, lettuce, pecorino cheese, I think, and salami, spicy salami. So here we go. I just spilled honey all over my dress. <laughs> Bread is super fresh. Listen, people are not kidding when they say that Italy in the summer is hot. Today hit 100 in Florence and it's, I think it was like 66% humidity or something. Yeah, it's a toasty one. Just did some walking around, got lunch in the market, the central market here, which is like one of the top things to go see and do. The bottom level is like a market. And then the top level has a bunch of restaurants and food spots that you can sit and eat. Super cool to walk through. I wanna ask the bread and breakfast I keep saying bread and breakfast. Bed and breakfast host here, uh, which places that they like in the market because I want to go back. I went to a gelato place today that was so good. It was on the south side. And I think what I've heard is like that area is less touristy. So I think I need to just go over there and explore more because I don't know if it's like this year round or just because it's summer, probably just because it's summer, but it is a zoo. Hard to actually get a feel for the city because there are so many tourists everywhere that everything just feels like touristy if that makes sense. I'm still really enjoying it like it's beautiful. Hallelujah. I feel I'm pretty dead and I also need to ice my neck and I'm gonna just sit and edit here for a few hours, cool down, get some work done. By the way, I've just been wearing my swimsuit. <laughs> this is a swimsuit top from American Eagle. It's cute to like layer with stuff actually because I like the two-tone colors and since it's that material it's like <laughs> Good for sweating this has been like one of my go-to <laughs> outfit combinations this skirt unfortunately they don't make it anymore it's american eagle and i got it on clearance so it's definitely not available now i checked bag is amazon and then this little thing i got in jordan at zara and it's actually like a button-up shirt but it's super lightweight and it's like that nice breezy material so it looks really cute just like paired over anything just got in my next place and once again I feel like I 
totally scored this is like a really cool loft look at this so freaking cool beds up there and they gave wine a bottle of wine you walk in over here so it actually goes all the way this way here's the kitchen it's pretty dark back here so let me brighten it up for us i do want to get a few groceries the fridge is in here i just got water and juice so far look at this bathroom <laughs> very funky this is the first place that i'm staying in for like two weeks so i can actually fully unpack which feels good definitely has character look goes all the way up look at that ceiling it's actually like a very large flat this turns into an extra bed if you need it but obviously i don't need it look at the wood i love the wood up here these windows unreal i'll show you the view in a second but let's go up the stairs just getting flashbacks to when i fell down the tiny house stairs in Austin, Texas. Love a good loft, you know? So here's the bed. I did look in this door because I was curious. It's kind of creepy. So they do have this clothes hanger, which I think I will be using. Or I could just fold up my clothes and put some right here. All right, and then here's the massive windows. I'll show you outside. It is a perfect area. Literally, the famous church is right there. This is the first time I've ever remembered to use this, and it is so cool. So this is just the Google Translate app. You go in photo mode, and then you can do the language. And I'm not even taking a picture. You just hold up your camera. I'm trying to figure out if one is fabric softener and if one is detergent, by the way. Hold up your camera, and look, it says it just translates right over the photo and then i'm gonna do this one see what it says so cool hung up a few things in the creepy closet all right guys let's make some coffee we're gonna produce a lot of bitterness okay we don't want it ground like we would for an espresso machine what you will notice here is this so just <laughs> wow things are happening my first mocha pot coffee taste test obviously I had a migraine last night so ignore my face Wait, that's some good coffee. Wow, it's uh, strong, but it's not bitter. In my last Seattle apartment, if you saw those vlogs, at one point I was trying to find like the best coffee maker and I went through like a few different options, a really high-end one, and ended up going back to my Keurig. And I wanted to try the mocha pot because a lot of you from other countries were saying that that makes like the best cup of coffee very fast. And this is good. This is a good cup of coffee, y'all. I might be a mocha pot convert. So here's my outfit for today. I have on Adidas bag I've talked about I'll show it in better lighting but this dress is like one of my go-to i was gonna say travel dresses but just dresses in general because i love the fit of it it's comfy it doesn't like blow up in the wind that's like something to look for if you're traveling <laughs> a lot of dresses can like blow up and it's just like annoying if you're walking around a city for a long time and you're constantly having to like hold your dress down and it's lightweight so this one was from express but like years ago so if they still make a similar one or if i can find a similar one online i'll link it my etsy necklace just like basic i've been doing like very basic makeup I need to wash my hair so it's in a bun my go-to travel shoes these are awesome for walking once you break them in and then i'm just going to be bringing these sunglasses and then this bag is the one that i've raved about on instagram and on youtube actually i did a whole fashion video by the way with like a lot of the stuff i'm wearing on my trip this bag is just like a lifesaver i love that it has two pockets it fits a ton and it looks cute it's sunday it's like the free museum day i think i actually might be okay if i go later right now it's two so by the time i like whoa i just noticed my lens is super blurry hold on i noticed like if you go out around like three to five here it's pretty empty because that's when most people are going back to like their hotel rooms to recharge for dinner and like going out so i might actually fingers crossed be okay with the museum just did the uthc museum and it is it is hot you guys if you're coming to italy in the summer seriously it is toasty uh even in the museum there's no ac so now i'm wandering around these streets trying to find a sandwich place that have good reviews because i'm about to pass out working and i thought i heard thunder but i was like there's no way it's like you know 90 something degrees out 
I don't know if you can tell. It is pouring right now. I thought it was hail, but I think it's just like huge raindrops. Like, I've been camped out here like the last day and a half. I know it looks like all I've been eating is like very unhealthy things. I mean, 90% of it has been, but here's proof. I have been, you know, eating some vegetables and things here and there. I actually, this is like the third time I've gotten this place and I really like it. It's called Rosalia. And then I got their green juice again. I got this last time too. I haven't left the house today. Probably won't be because it's like six o'clock right now. And I just have a lot of work I'm trying to crank through right now so I can do stuff tomorrow, hopefully, or the next day. Mm -hmm. 